<sighs> so I'm gonna talk about bench press regionals. We had uh, 10 guys from my powerlifting club showing up and competing and I'm gonna talk about all of them, not just one that did a good meet. I'm, I'm gonna to include everybody and say what I think they did good and what I think they did bad. Some of them I can't talk that much about because some of them were like training hard leading up to the competition and some were just more cruising around or had other things going on in their life so they couldn't train like full bore into the competition. Uh, I have made the list here so I guess I'm just going from the up to bottom on it. First name is Rasmus. Uh, Rasmus is a guy I've known for a lot of years. He's been training really hard. He's actually one of those who've been smashing it in the gym leading up to this competition who did not receive as good as a turnout as I thought he could. And uh, uh, the big thing there was technique wise. Um, his training has been going really. He's, he's trained lighter than ever before and just for context Rasmus is a guy that's been competing since January I think of 2012 so he's been going at it for a while he has collected all the newbie gains he can he has a PR in the 93 kilo class of 180 kilos in the bench press uh, he has also done 170 or He's done 170, I'm, I'm sure of, in the 83 kilo class. But anyways, he opened up with 65, I think. Moved on to 75 in his last, in his second attempt, and uh, which was a max lift for him. He bombed his third. I don't remember the weight he, he picked there. Uh, leading up to this competition, he hit 36 reps with 100 kilos in the bench. I didn't see a video of that, so I can't say if there were clean reps or so, but I have seen some videos of him training. The thing is, we haven't trained together in a very, very long time. Um, so I haven't been able to give him pointers on, on the technique, but the numbers I've seen has been really good. But, uh, and when he hit his, like when he was at his strongest, he did 33 reps with 100 kilos. And some of you may think, well, that's too, mad, too, too high of a number to, to consider. And, Put up, put, put up a, a one rep max with, but if you follow, as I've said many times before, the simple rules with like technique and execution of reps and everything, it's pretty easy. And I will get back to that later on. So when he started warming up, I saw well he has get get out of line with with the, the technique. Uh, so, so we tried to fix that in the warm up room, and it was kind of like we were both both pulling our way. I said. You need to do that, and he did somewhat of it, but not went always. So it probably turned out worse than it could have been. And with that said, I think you should absolutely be able to fi uh, fix things in the warm up room leading up to the competition. I have seen that many times with lifters, that I have even seen lifters changing up their technique from second to third and um, had a good outcome with it. So the thing was there, and I saw he. he Tucked, he tucks his feet too hard under the bench and he focused too much on his arch. So you can say he focused more on positioning than tightness. And he, this this has been like a theme for him all three years. So I actually thought about this before uh, recording. When he had his like big jump in the bench press, we trained, he has, had, he has had two big jumps in the bench uh, over the years. One was in like to the end of 2017 leading up to 2018. He, he went, I think he, his uh, competition PR went up like 10 kilos and from that on he, he also kept pushing it to his touch and go bench. He didn't get to put out on competition what he could because he's kept pushing his touch and go bench but like I think the heaviest he he, he he had benched at the time was well his competition bench went up 10 kilos we can just keep it there and it was still in the 83 kilo class under that time from being at like 150 to 155 for I think 
two, two and a half years. We jumped just in a couple of months. We trained together. The main thing there was technique pointers we worked on. Later, again, we, we had a, uh, we trained together in, in the uh, in, in the like end of 2000, uh, 2020 and 2000, in the beginning of 2021. And at that point, he also jumped from a touch and go bench at this PR that still he held at 172.5 to 190 kilos. Also, under that time, he had moved up in weight uh, during this time, weighing 90 kilos, but still that huge jump. After that, we haven't trained consistently, and the result has been. S -s -s well, not, not as good as you could expect. So, even though the training is good, it's how you um, how you perform your reps. I think it's very very important. So, so, so there's one thing. Someone that was really strong in training, probably the strongest, or had the best capacity that he didn't get out uh, on meet day. That guy, uh, Henke Magnusson, uh, also guy has been competing since 2013. Has like you know, he he won't get any new begins. Uh, he had the PR uh, his last meet with 180 kilos, also in a 93 kilo class. He did 182.5 this meet, but got uh, two red lights before because his got went before the press command. I can't say nothing about that. He could might as well gun it. The referee that gave him a white light, I might say, was the referee with the highest rank, so like international referee and everything, and he, he held a white light. So, so that's the thing also, if you take that into consideration, like he probably went a tenth of a second too fast, but still he passed the bench, the ass was on the bench, and everything else was good. So if we consider it from a point of view that we take like a test measurement to see did I get something out of my training, and his training, besides going up and feeling 150 kilos a week before the competition, his training leading up to this competition has been done with 70 kilos, 100 kilos, and 80 kilos. So he's been smashing 40 reps with 70 kilos, he's been smashing 20s with 100, and 30 reps with 80 kilos. So that has been his main. So even if you want to like rob him of the lift, he was still able to almost put out the PR with just slamming weights as light as that with that high of a number of training. The same thing was with Rasmus, not exactly the same training, but more or less the same. Uh, the next guy I have on my list was so with, with Henke there, I would say, uh, considering he trained like the most stupid way you could train and the way that we know doesn't work in strength training and he still was able to put up a PR that speaks for itself. Next guy we have Steven. Steven uh, did all his uh, lifts, he's finished with 205 kilos. He probably had five or seven and a half kilos left in the tank that day. In Steven's case it's also been technical wise. He's been training hard doing it, doing everything he should leading up to this competition but I got a video sent to me from them a different angle because we don't train together that much and I saw his his something with his shoulder blades was out of line so we needed to fix that because his reps with 160 kilos was way off where they should have been and we fixed that kind of just a week leading up to the meet and also at the, that the, the spot and he saw that very good so, so when he er, He's probably when he has before when he has done around like six uh, six reps with uh, or nine reps with with one sixty, he's been able to do well one or five more or less like max. That has been its top strength. But now when you if you look at it, you 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 should you couldn't call it like an opener. It would be a heavy opener in that case. But it was he he definitely had. Um, Seven and a half kilos in the time. If, if if he was had if he would have given it a fourth try, we would have he would have I would have put money on him that him that he would have put out at two ten bench. Uh, he has things in his mind also, so he needs to be focused because he can go out and just totally miss a lift sometimes if he's not in the right spot. Next guy, Robin, hit a PR, 142.5 kilos. 
a 93 kilo guy he's training hard from time to time so leading up to this competition he had a good training session but his technique is way off he could be much more tighter much more like dense on the bench and just by getting more stiff on the bench he would put up probably 150 kilos without getting stronger with just getting more intact and and the, the thing with robin is also with that i have with a lot of other guys like steve and rasmus they are sometimes nonchalant nonchalant uh, in their training so, so and they not all the time they well soft they don't uh, get in there so much and if it is if it's i'm very detail oriented so if i get throw around too much detail they just shut it out sh shut sh they just shut down and don't listen so, so many times i think and of course i can get too carried away with some sometimes if you don't like evolve you don't evolve that that's the bottom line but so, so we, we kind of both both of us are or them and i were gravitating to two different spots and i think some somewhere in the middle is, is the best way to, place to be but in robin's case i can it's actually happened at times where, where, where we ha we're arguing uh, and I get like pissed at him because I know you're, you're just not focused, you're not, you, you, you just, you, you're all over the place instead of focusing on what you to do. I have punched him in the face and said go again when he has missed lifts and he has put, laid himself down on the bench and succeeded with the lifts. So imagine yourself, I used to think that happens actually with 150 kilos the first time he, he hit that in training touch and go. Uh, that he missed it, he got up, I talked to him, this this is what went wrong, he said okay, okay, and I s smashed him in the face and said go again, because he never got to that point in the lift where he drained himself. He never got to the point where he was able to start pushing. And so I know that physically he wasn't like empty. He had still had had some 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 few left to put that lift out. And he made it. And I don't go sm hit people in the face because they don't make a lift. In that case, I know that what, what that's what he needed. And he's also mentally strong to take it, to understand. I'm not so I'm not gonna go and, and randomly hit someone in, in the face with open palm. But, but but in his case I know this will solve the problem and it did. Uh, and we're all good. Next guy, Neo, Starboy. Um my actually next door neighbor um he hit the pr 162.5 kilos he's 19 years old and weighs 66 kilos with that say it doesn't matter how old you are because if you have good genetics and a talent you will evolve faster so he's probably not gonna evolve, have the same like evolve curve later in life so it doesn't matter he will just get better faster than other people what he will do in three years someone else probably maybe needs six years to do so but all in all the thing with Neo also trains very light the heaviest 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 Neo did in training was a single at 120 kilos since his last meet that's the heaviest so that's 73 percent of the weight he lifted so 73 percent is the heaviest he touched it for one rep one rep and if you're considering, like, um, well, 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 so that's 73 kilos, uh, 73 percent. The heaviest weight he trained at uh, was 112.5 kilos, touch and go reps. And if you're considering that, like, bench press pause is a variant of bench press and touch and go bench is the real bench press. So if you take that in con into consideration, maybe his max the touch and go bench would be 170 kilos so his percent is actually lower than what 112.5 kilos is of 162.5 kilos just a detail but still um, and the thing we do with new and has done for all these competitions is we look at in this case the heaviest weight he repped did reps with in competition in training sorry the, the heaviest weight neo did reps with in training was 112.5 kilos we checked how many reps did he do at that weight and um, he did um, 18 so I have my magic calculator 
I put down 18 reps uh, with, with 112.5 kilos and the result was you should probably be able to do 162.5 with a pause. So we were more or less certain of that. We wanted to hit 65.5 kilos for a regional record, but we were somewhat uh, unsure of it after his 155 kilo lift. So, so we held back on that. We should have gone for 65.5, but he will have like one or two competitions left to try in that before he will went, go, go up in weight to, to, to the 74 kilo class. Uh, next guy is Jürgen. Uh, Jürgen did a pretty good meet. He hit 167.5 in his second attempt. He has a PR with 172.5. Jürgen is also 30 years older than Neo, but they do the same program based on their percentage. Uh, Jürgen was really strong in like the mid, like at the end of July or so, uh, mid-summer, somewhere, somewhere in the summer before he and he hit the PR with 120 kilos where he smashed out 20 reps uh, then he went into like I don't know the, the right way to, to put it in English but like military service training for two weeks so when um, he went out on an island uh, and was there in two weeks and got home so I don't know exactly all the drills and things they do but when he got home obviously he was a bit drained uh, he hadn't trained and he was somewhat fatigued more or less from all from being away and doing this so when he got back home I think it was a month before this competition um, and started training he had a big toll on him just to train to get back to it and he managed to hit uh, up uh, the week before competition 15 reps at 120 kilos I don't know if he lost weight when he was away but but you can imagine yourself going away two weeks for military service um, and he actually had a pretty good try at one or pretty good well it wasn't maybe that good but but uh, uh, a qualified attempt at 175 kilos the problem with it was when he was going down with it he smashed um, the rack so, so you know you get the start command you go up smashing the rack uh, and he, he took it down he got the press command he, he went up a bit but it wasn't really there I think things like would have been if actually before he, he went out for it just judging on his 67.5 lift I didn't think he was gonna have that 75 kilo lift, but when he did it and failed it, considering what happened, I think he, he maybe would have had it. So, so he's 50 years old, that would be an all time PR for him and everything. Um, but still, under the circumstances, that's good. Uh, and we also have some technical work to do there, always <laughs> uh, some things that are going on. And it also, I think he hyped himself up too much, that's why he hit the rack. Um, and so, so that's the guys I've been like really included with their training not so much Rasmus maybe because we but we have had the dialogue uh, then we have Tommy uh, a veteran a plus uh, 60 year old guy we haven't had I, I can't say so much about his training because we haven't he hasn't been following the exact program I have put out for this competition uh, he is competing for the club but he don't train with us so much and he, he doesn't follow the product so I can't say s too much about that um, he, 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 go, going up to the kind of leading up to the competition it seemed like he had a good training phase but it, that didn't really show on meet day um, so, so I, I, I can't really say so much about Tommy considering those things um, he, he, he up, uh, um, he did all his attempt, but in his last attempt, he put the weight back in the rack too early. The other guy I don't really train with or had that dialogue with is Andreas Henning. He put up 215 kilo, 215 kilos. He's been coming back from injuries and inconsistent training and all in all. So he just jumped in and did the meet for for the for the club sake. Um, he hit all his lift. Did was he go, he was gonna do, but but he, what we saw with him is his technique is pretty bad. <laughs> so he got some things to work on. Even though I don't train Andreas Henning 
like fully get him a programmer so I'm like a, his biggest consulting when it comes to training I give him advice and we have a dialogue and everything and, and Tommy also trains with like bits of my program as I have understand it I think Tommy's a free spirit and he need to do what he wants to do uh, the other guy is my my little brother Jonathan he hasn't really been training that dedicated been sick also leading up to this competition so you can't say much about that like if you train complete like eight 12 weeks for a competition that's one thing but if you train here and there when you feel about it when you feel for it or so you you, you can really expect that the that the best results from that so i don't have much to say about that he, he hit 145 uh, then we have me uh, 215 and i actually I'm not disappointed with that. It felt good. I, the best I could have hit that day was 220. Wouldn't have been able to hit more than that. Uh, why? I'm not stronger than that. It's just as I, I haven't been training that consistent. I had the European Championship, took over a week off, had four weeks to prepare for this competition, got sick two times, and I have been struggling or I have tried to fix some technical errors I have managed to fix those and leading up to the competition I hit 45 reps with 100 kilos would which told me I could probably do to 212.5 with a pause but I thought I can do more because when I did that 45 reps with 100 kilos I was a bit fatigued so I know I won't be in this shape on the competition day so I know well 212 is is, is uh, like that's a hundred percent guarantee and I hit 15 and and when I checked myself like the 200 I opened with 200 and I also checked my 200 from the European Championships and, and 200 kilos now moves faster not only in the press but also that the, the takedown speed is much higher because I'm much more dialed in technical wise so I'm confident in my training now for the first time since Worlds more or less uh, so I think even though that was the only thing I could deliver this time I will be able to deliver much more the next competition I'm doing uh, the 2nd of November and a lot of these guys is also going to compete that so I hope I will put up a PR in the 93 kilo class and I also hope that I will be competing as Jonathan Henningsson Swedish number one 93 kilo bencher um, along with 105 uh, number one elite, uh, best, uh, top bencher um, that, uh, at, at that meet so we'll see you then uh, till that bye bye